So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here with another quick video. And if you've been a long time subscriber, you know that I've gone through a lot of different VPN services over the years, tested, and some I kept using, the others I kicked to the curb. So a question that pops up a lot on the channel is, are free VPN services safe? So if you guys don't know, VPN services can be paid, they can be free, pros and cons to both obviously, but today we're gonna focus on the free VPN services, whether they're safe, as well as seven things you should know before trying a free VPN. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell, let's go. So today we're gonna read a little bit from uh, Norton.com. Title of this one is, Are Free VPN Safe? Seven Things You Should Know Before Using a Free VPN. So I'm gonna go through the article, I'm gonna read what they're saying. I'm gonna let you know if some of those points also applies to the paid VPN services. And uh, definitely drop your thoughts in the comments section below. So let's start off by defining what a VPN service is. So VPN or virtual private network is a way to help protect your privacy online, especially when you're logged in from public space such as a hotel lobby, coffee shop, library or an airport. When you sign up for a VPN service, you first log into that service before you connect to the internet. And when you do this, uh, government agencies, businesses, hackers, uh, they don't see your IP address, uh, thus just keeping your browsing data private. So it says that online privacy though is not absolute, even with a VPN. Uh, that's because your VPN provider will know your IP address and what sites you visit. The key then is to work with a VPN that you trust, you want a VPN that doesn't track your data when you're online. If your provider does not log a keystroke, it also won't provide your information to other businesses. So that's one of the key things that we talk about uh, when I do my VPN services, you want to get one that's not going to keep logs. Uh, Chances are if they keep logs, the logs are stored somewhere and they might be forced to hand those logs over in a pinch. So that's what you wanna look for. Also, we talked about the nine eyes and the 14 eyes. Uh, definitely, I'll go ahead and link one of those videos where you can kind of read up more on what a VPN is and what are some of the things you wanna look for. So it goes on to say most VPN services charge for their services, others though don't. You may be tempted to sign up for one of the free services. After all, who doesn't like to save money? But are free VPNs safe to use? maybe not. So into a little study, not all VPNs are created equal. You sign up for VPN services to protect your online activity, but a 2016 study shows that 283 Android VPN apps by the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization, CSIRO, in Australia found that many VPNs don't offer the kind of security users need. According to report findings, 60% of VPN apps studied in the analysis embedded at least one tracking library in their code to track users' online activity, which is worrisome. If a VPN is tracking your activity, it may intend to sell the data to third parties for purpose of marketing or ad targeting. Like I said in the end, I'll let you guys know why you should probably go with the paid over the free. I'm not gonna sell you anything. I'm not gonna reference any affiliation to a VPN provider, but just making common sense and, um, and we'll see what you guys think in the comment section. Uh, the studies also found that for several reasons, 84% of analyzed apps didn't properly encrypt online data usage. That means that it could be easier for snoops to track what users are doing when browsing the internet. Free VPNs are more likely to track your data. The CSIRO study said 65% of paid VPN providers did not track users' online activity, but only 28% of the free services did the same. So why? So free services need to make money somewhere. If you're not charging the users for their service, how else are they supposed to earn a profit to support the product that they provide? At the same time, paid VPNs are more likely to provide stronger encryption services. That's because they're profiting from subscriptions. They're more likely to spend more money necessary for stronger encryption methods. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, with the free VPN services, they're not charging you anything up front. So the question then is where are they getting money, revenue to not only uh, upkeep their, their servers, continue 
um, providing that service to you, but also how do they get money to, to pay for better encryption, better equipment? So seven things you should know about using a free VPN. Like I said, I'm gonna go through this list. Some of this does not strictly apply to the uh, free VPNs, but I'll go ahead and point those out as we go along. So if you're considering a free VPN, it's smart to be aware of issues that could be related to free offerings, including these. So number one, VPN providers could be infected with malware. According to the 2016 CSIRO study, of 10 VPN services more likely to be infected with malware, six of them were free ones. Most of the malware were related to advertising. That isn't surprising considering that free VPNs often rely on advertising to make money. VPNs that charge are less likely to need to rely on ads for their profit. So that one is uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, reason number two, VPNs can use embedded tracking for various purposes. So the study found that only 20% of free VPN services did not use embedded third-party trackers for analytics tracking and advertising purposes. So, so think about it guys, only 28% of free VPN services did not use tracking analytics advertising purposes so that means that 72 percent of those free vpn services are uh, putting those and using that to track you vpns can often fail at unblocking content many consumers turn to vpn as a way to access online content that they may not be able to access in certain regions of the world a prime example is netflix and we've covered this um, about geolock and content. Um, can I watch my Brazilian Netflix library in, in the US by using a VPN? And we see that some VPN services, uh, whether paid or free, uh, does a better job than other services. So if you live in the US, uh, for instance, you might not be able to access the same Netflix movies and TV series that you could get on Netflix in the UK. Uh, if you first log into the internet through your VPN provider uh, with an IP address based in the UK, you might be able to access that unblock Netflix programming. The problem, free VPN services often can't unblock Netflix content. You may want to consider a more formidable resource of a premium service that may allow you to access such content. Keep in mind, it's important to consider regional laws and service agreement with your content provider. So we all know that Netflix, um, most providers in the US, uh, this is strictly prohibited. So do this at your own risk. Um, so just basically saying that the free services does not do a good enough job just getting regional content unlocked number four vpns might slow you down and um this is true for free vpn as well as pay vpn services but probably a lot slower with the free vpn services you might find that your online connection is sluggish when you log into the internet through a free vpn services many other free services also offers a premium protection which charge either a monthly or annual subscription fee. These providers may slow your online speeds on purpose as a way to encourage users to sign up for their paid version. So that could be one uh, tactic that they use, uh, give you a free tier, uh, that way you can kind of get a taste of it, but they slow you down, that way you'll um, have the urge to sign up for uh, you know, a better tier. And if they have to do that to get you to purchase a, a subscription, that simply means that the service is not actually free. So VPNs may allow delivery of online ads. So this one is, is a big one, guys, with the free VPN services. Like we said, you're either the buyer or the seller. If you're not buying anything, uh, the chances are you're paying for it in other ways that you don't know about or might not um, be too thrilled about. So free VPN providers need to make money, and many do this by hitting users with a steady stream of pop-up ads. This is not only annoying, but also can slow down your connection speed. Uh, some free VPN providers rely on ad serving trackers which track your online activity. Hotspot Shield VPN was an example in 2017. The Federal Trade Commission filed a complaint against the company, charging it with several piracy violations related to its online ads. So according to complaint, uh, Hotspot Shield VPN used five tracking libraries and sold users' data to third-party advertising networks. Hotspot's parent company denied the allegation and has since offered annual transparency reports. Uh, reason number six, some free VPN can hijack your browser and redirect you to other sites without your permission. Hotspot Shield did this to its users, for example, redirecting them to Alibaba and eBay.com, sending you to those affiliate sites that way if you click on anything, they kind of make a profit and that's another tactic that they might use. Uh, reason number seven, VPNs may allow government to collect 
user data. A 2019 study from VPN Pro found that the top 97 VPNs are operated by a total of 23 parent companies with many of these companies in countries with weak piracy laws. Uh, what's alarming about these findings is that China has strict VPN bans. These companies may then be approved by the government in which the parent company is based to collect the data of its users. Keep that in mind as well. The key takeaway, it's probably a good idea to invest in a paid VPN service. These services do more to help protect your data, avoid and slowing down your internet speed and unblock restricted content. So a lot of information there, so I'm not gonna keep you too long, but let me give you my thoughts on the whole matter. Uh, if you are someone that uses Facebook, absolutely free. You use um, Instagram, you use Google, <laughs> Gmail. Uh, if you ever notice that if you go on Google and you search for something and then you go on Facebook, you'll see that same thing that you search for pop up on your Facebook. That's not by accident, guys. Uh, your information, particularly when you're using free sites, which includes Google, it's recycled, it's resold, and it, it circulates, and they track you, and they use that to, to send you ads, send you to their websites, and at the end of the day, looking to make money off of you. So that's not different from what the VPN services are doing, particularly the free ones. So, so as I mentioned before, if you're a free VPN service, if I have a service that I'm providing to the users, how exactly am I making a profit? How am I keeping that service going? Um, takes time, it takes money, it takes resources, and where is that money coming from if you're not paying for it? Likely, passage of payment is through selling your data, putting some tracking on there, putting pop-up ads in your face, and that's how they, they essentially make their money, guys. Not saying that the free VPN services are not gonna do that, but uh, they're more likely to do so. And these examples are really good points made by um, this article. So I'm not gonna mention any links, I'm not gonna mention any services, but I am gonna leave a link to this article in the description. Uh, if you guys are uh, using a free VPN service, let me know in the, in the comment section. Matter of fact, drop the name of the free VPN service that you're using. Let me know how it's working for you. Uh, let me know all the pros and cons of that service. Is it slow, is it fast? Does it do a good job with the geolock? Does it do other things that other services might not do? But for me, I would I would not recommend uh, using a free VPN service. So that's it for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching again, and I'll catch you on the next one.